Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. I've got a little mini three-part series for you. We're going to do data bars, color scales, and then colored data bars. All right, what's all this stuff mean? Well, data bars are really easy to implement. I'm going to show you both Excel and Access. It's basically you got a value here in a cell or a field. And if it's a big value like 100, it goes all the way over here. And if it's a short value like one, it's really small over there. That's a data bar. It's pretty easy to do. That's what we're going to cover today. Next up is color scales. Now, a color scale is basically low values get one color like red. And then high values get another color like green. And then in the middle, you might have yellow. Okay, or it could be reversed. Now, this is very easy to implement in Excel but not so easy to implement in access, especially if the max and min values can change. So this is gonna be a challenge. We'll do this in tomorrow's video. And then the big one coming up on Friday is colored data bars. Now this is something that you can't easily do in Excel. So ha, there you go, Excel users. I got something that's actually easier to do in access. <laughs> you can do data bars, you can do color scales, but you can't do colored data bars. So we'll talk about this on Friday. But for today, let's do data bars. Now let's see data bars in Excel first. All right, here I am over in Excel and I got, you know, Joe, Bill, Sue, and Bob, and there's some values there. Okay, and I want a data bar over here so that the big values like 130 come all the way across over here and the small values like four have a really short bar. And this is just a matter of conditional formatting. And it's easy to set up both in Excel and in Access. And it's pretty much the same thing. Come over here, conditional formatting. There's data bars. And then just pick what you want. There's the different fills that are available there. The transparent ones, the solid ones. I like the gradient ones myself. Right, like that one there. See? Pretty straightforward. And if these values change, that becomes 45. The bar gets longer. Okay? Easy enough. All right, how do I do this in Access? Well, let's say on my customer list, I want to do a little data bar. Let's make a field called, like, uh, completed or whatever. Let's say you're doing, you know, how... What, what percentage of something is complete or whatever, any, any value you want. Let's just call it completed. All right, we'll make this a number. Doesn't have to be a percentage. It could be a number from five to 50 or whatever. Okay, all right, save that. Let's go into my customer list form here. This is a continuous form. And if you've never seen me build these before, go watch my tech help free template video. You'll find a link down below. I'm gonna get rid of, let's just get rid of this stuff here. We don't need all that. And let's drop in add existing fields. We'll bring our completed over here. There it is. All righty, there's completed. We'll make it nice and big so we can get room for the bar in there. Okay. And of course, my little label, copy, paste. All right, stick that there. Completed. And let's see what we're dealing with. I'm going to make sure this is left aligned also. Okay. All right, what do we got? All right, let's put some values in here. It's 130, 85, uh, 40, and two. Okay, now let's put data bars in there. Right click, design view. Again, we're gonna go up to conditional formatting. Now, if you've never done any conditional formatting before, go watch my conditional formatting video to get the basics. And I'll put a link to that down below in the links section under the video. You can watch that for more information. All right. We are going to click on new rule and then you got two options here. Check the values in the current record or use an expression or compare to other records. That's the one you want to pick right there. Okay, you got data bar formats. Now show bar only means you don't want to see the value that's in the bar, but I want to see both. All right, so the shortest bar, we're going to use the lowest value. The longest bar, we're going to use the highest value. So this way your scale doesn't matter. Right. If it goes from one to 100, that's great. If it goes from 50 to 212, that's great. The, the bars will adjust accordingly. OK, pick your bar color. I don't know. I'll go with like that guy there. Now let's go a little darker. Maybe that. guy. OK, ready? Hit OK. That's what it's going to look like. Hit OK. Save it. Close it. Open it. Boom. There's your data bars. And if you if the number's hard to see, you can right align the number if you want to. All right, come over here or align it right or even center it, put it in the middle of the bar, whatever you want, however you like it, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Or you can do two fields. You could do one with just the number 
and then one with the bar itself like this watch this let's say i'm going to take this guy let's go back to left aligned all right i'm going to copy this copy paste and let me turn off the conditional formatting in the second one all right so we'll just come in here and delete that rule and then we'll shrink it down and then stick it here and then we'll take this guy and put it next to it like that and then in here we'll go to conditional formatting edit the rule and show bar only that's why this is in here then you can get an idea for the data bar size without it interfering with the number save it close it open it boom, there you go okay so that's pretty straightforward that's pretty easy to do right that's data bars and if these values change if that becomes 200 well now that's the long guy okay okay yeah and i just said i just had to prove that to myself um a minute ago i did that and it got shorter but watch what happens if you exit and come back in so it redraws all these when the form loads so if you change this now to 200 and move off of it right that one got really long but these guys should have gotten shorter, right? So you got to close it and then reopen it again. Or if you want, you could put an after update event in here to refresh this guy. Want a little VBA, a little sneak, a little VBA in here? Okay, here, fine. Design view, this guy, right? Let's go to the events for this thing. So I'm going to close this, bring up its properties, right? Double click, go to events, go to, well, all right, let me see here. Yeah, this one, see this one's named completed because that's the first one we put in there. And this guy is text 22 because we copied it, even though they're bound to the same thing, right? But I'm gonna make this guy, let's rename this one the completed bar. And this guy will just be completed like that, okay? And now I can say in your after update event, after update runs when this guy is changed, right? We can come in here. There's a, there's a million things you could do. You could try different stuff. You could just come in here and say me.refresh. That might redo all the bars. Let's see. Let's give it a shot and see. All right, let's say I come in here and make this a two and hit tab. And look at that, see? It updated all the bars. And now if I come in here and make this 2000, tab, look at that, see? So normally these just refresh when the form loads, but with a little, with one line of VBA code, folks, you can make it do all kinds of cool stuff. So if you've never done any VBA programming before and you want to learn, go watch this. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll get you started. VBA is, it's not hard, folks. And just learning a little tiny, teeny bit can make your databases do all kinds of cool stuff. So this is data bars. Let's put that back at like a reasonable number there. If you want to learn more about data bars in Excel, I actually cover it in my beginner level two class. I got to it right away in, in Excel because it's super easy to do in Excel. You saw how easy that was right there. Color scales and data bars. That's Excel beginner level two. In Access, I waited all the way up until uh, expert level 19. So it's a pretty high level class. Because uh, honestly, I don't use it that much in, in Access. Uh, here they are here. I think it was just kind of like a mention, like, a, oh, by the way, you can put data bars in here like, like Excel. Because it's not something that I use a lot in Access. But some people have asked me recently how to do it. So that's why I'm putting this video together. All right, so that's data bars tomorrow. We're gonna do color scales. Again, very easy to do in Excel, not so easy to do in Access, okay? And then on Friday, we're gonna mix them together and have color scales and data bars and they're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff. So stick around. But that is gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, my friends. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list.
and you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. 
I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.